Welcome to the second video tutorial for the Skyrim Creation Kit, Basic Layout. In this entry, we'll learn how to create a simple layout that will serve as the backbone for our level. Joining us today to lay down the law is level designer Justin Schramm. What's the first thing we need to do, Justin? The first thing we need to do is make a cell. Easiest way to do this is take an existing cell and duplicate it. We are going to use the AAA markers cell you see here in the cell view window. What we're going to do is right click on it and hit duplicate cell you'll see the copy appears directly under it. You can hit F2 to have a text entry field appear, and we are gonna name our cell Lokiers2. Once you do that, after you hit enter, it'll move down into the list alphabetically. What you can do is click any cell in the cell view window, and then you're able to type in the name and it'll automatically go down to it. Now you see here, the name still shows up as the name of the old cell. So what we can do to fix that, right click on your cell, go to interior data, and then we can change the name right here. Now we are gonna use proper punctuation here because this is the name that will actually show up in the game when the player enters. All right, so double click on our cell, and now our render window will show it. We still have all this stuff left over from the old cell, so we're gonna select everything in the cell view window this way right click and delete. We may have to go to another cell and back for that to show up. So we have a completely empty cell now. We are gonna try now and find our first piece in the object window. So we're gonna drill down here to the world objects category, to the static category, and then dungeons may be collapsed, here it's open. You can drill down from dungeons to Nordic and then to the actual kit we're gonna use is the small room kit. Now this allows you to filter only by what is in this kit when you enter things into the filter window. Our first piece we're gonna place is a wall piece. So I'm going to enter nor room small wall side and then we'll grab piece 01 here. Drag it into the render window and now we have a piece in the render window. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel or with V to take a look at it. And we can use the T key to get a nice top-down view of our piece. Now, it is best if we keep our first piece to start at the origin point of the cell. So what we can do is right-click on our piece in the render window and go to Edit. And it'll pop up the reference window here. We're going to change all the position values here to zero. This will move our piece to the origin. Now it's not gonna be in the render window anymore, so to recenter our view on that piece, we double click on the piece in the cell view window. And there we have it. Now it's gonna be kind of dark working this way because we don't have any lights in the cell. So if you hit A, it'll just light everything up, or you can use this lighting button right here at the top, and that'll keep everything bright so we can see rather than stumbling around in the dark. So the best way to work with snapping pieces together in the editor is to have the grid snap and the snap to angle modes turned on. See how if I rotate the piece here, it's at 45 degree increments. If that is turned off, it's gonna rotate smooth like this. So we're gonna keep that on because we really wanna work on the grid with this kit. Same goes for the snap to grid. We're just gonna undo our changes with Control Z, put it back to the origin make sure that those are turned on. You can also use the buttons up here at the top. So we're gonna duplicate this piece. Make sure it is selected in the render window. Click into the render window to make sure that is the highlight. Then you hit Control D to duplicate. You're not gonna see any changes in the render window, but you'll see that you now have two pieces in the cell view window. So grab the first piece and just move it over to the side. And as long as you have grid snap turned on, it'll match up nicely. So the next thing we're going to do is find a corner piece. Uh, so just keep the Norum small prefix and then enter C-O-R for corner. You'll see the corner in 01 piece here. That is what we're going to use for the corners for this room. So drag that in and then we're able to just snap that right along onto the wall. And we'll do the same thing, duplicate this and put it on the other side.
Now we're going to put the middle floor of the room in. So we're going to remove the COR for corner here and enter MID for mid. Drag that in. Now the mid pieces line up specifically with the wall pieces. Um, so you're going to want to turn the camera up so you can see the top and see how it lines up here. Now see, if I were to place it like that, there would be a hole in the ceiling. So you really want to make sure that these pieces will line up with the walls that you place for this kit. So we'll go ahead and put that back the way it should be. We're going to duplicate this. And now we have some floor pieces in. Now we're going to try to surround this piece with the other two walls. Now you'd think you could just take this and move it over. But you're going to have that issue I told you about with the mid pieces where there is a hole in the ceiling. So this is called a, a side wall piece. We're going to need a front wall piece to put here. So we're going to go ahead and enter wall front into the object window. We'll just go ahead and take this out. So we'll drag that in, move it over, and see that lines up a lot better. Okay, so now we just need to finish the room. We're going to do three of these front pieces. Move these corner pieces and sidewall pieces over. Move these three front wall pieces over. And we're duplicating to get this with Control D. We'll select both of these mid pieces, duplicate them, bring them over, duplicate one more time, bring those over. It's always a good idea to take a look after doing a lot of duplicating to make sure everything lines up because it's easy to forget and slip up and leave holes in your space. So now we have a room, but there is no way out. So we're going to take one of these wall pieces and we're going to use Control F. That will do a search and replace for us just on the piece that is selected. So we'll do a Control F and you'll see this search and replace window come up. The first one is the piece you are replacing, and the second part is what you are replacing it with. So we're going to drill down in here and find a front wall exit piece, which is right here. Hit OK, and it replaces it with a door. Now we have a way out of our room. So what we can do from here is go into the hall kit. So go into the object window, find small halls, might want to delete whatever you have in your filter first. So to connect to a room, we need a certain piece of hall, and that is the hall exit piece. So we'll take this piece, NX small, and drag it in. Now see how these both have that door that matches up to each other. So they'll just snap right together. See if we have it the other way there's just a big gap. So you definitely want to line up your door piece. We'll go ahead and finish up this hallway now. Take just a regular one-way hall, drag it in. And then we'll duplicate this exit piece and rotate it. With the hall, hall pieces, you're able to rotate and they'll snap together no matter which way they're facing. This isn't true for every kit, but for this one, it makes it nice and simple. So you should have everything you need to finish the rest of the layout on creationkit.com, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the layout here now for you.
That concludes this installment of the Creation Kit tutorial for basic layout. In the next video, we'll cover more advanced layout tips with Ryan Jenkins. And remember to visit creationkit.com for more information.